mixing between, I mean, free mixing between male and female. That's why Allah SWT blocked the ways completely. Alhamdulillah, Allah SWT did not say to you, don't commit zina. He said, Wala zina. Don't you ever come closer to it. Because whenever you come closer to something which is haram, there is a great expectation that you're going to fall inside it. That's why the scholar they say what? Whenever you see Allah SWT or the Prophet say in Tilka Hududullahi Fala Ta'ataduha. Tilka Hududullahi Fala Ta'ataduha. When you check properly, you will see that Allah SWT is talking about halal things. Because if you're not greedy, you're not bad, if I give you 100 ringgit free and I give you another 100 ringgit, I say this one, keep it for me. 100 for you and 100. You eat your 100 ringgit and you keep mine. If someone is not bad. Normally. But if I tell you that this one is haram and I let you go closer to it, what is going to happen? You will be like a shepherd. The Prophet said, just like a shepherd, when you come closer to something which is haram, there is a great expectation that you are going to do it. And for this reason, Allah SWT said, Tilka hududullahi, many places, fala taqarabuha, that you ever come closer to it. That's called, they say, when Allah SWT said, ta'atadua, he's talking about the halal things. These are the boundaries, these are the limits of Allah SWT with regard to these halal things. Don't go beyond that. Eat till you reach the last one, but don't eat more than this. But if it is haram, Allah SWT will say to you, don't you ever come close to it. So coming closer to it involves so many things. Free mixing, yeah. the co-education that we're talking about in the universities, wherever you go, it happens. The Prophet ﷺ, the way he conducted the, 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 the classes between male and female in his time is the female, they stay behind because he didn't trust the male behind the female. They would never pay attention at all. Even though they are companions, they cannot pay attention at all because they are human beings. You put girls in front of them and then they behind. No, it doesn't work like this. It doesn't work like this. One of the boys was complaining, he said, the reason why I cannot focus in the class, he said, because my teacher should put me in the middle of the sisters, then I lost the focus. This is fact. This is fact. So the first thing that, is come, that should come into the mind is the free mixing. Going closer to zina is like when someone is mixing with a girl without any barrier. Allah SWT said, وَإِلَا سَأَلْتُمُ هُنَّ مَتَعَنْ فَاسْأَلُوا هُنَّ مِنْ وَرَاءِ حِجَابٍ when you, whenever you talk, you're asking them something, you ask them between a barrier. Although these are the words of the Prophet wasallam, but this is better for you. Because the reason why Allah SWT said this, he said, It's better for you. When you talk to your sister, she talks to you, both of you are going to be in trouble if there is no barrier and there is no need. If there is need, no problem. The Prophet used to talk to him, they used to talk to him. That's why there is no problem. So the first is the free mixing. So if you are in the university, where you are supposed to sit, a girl should maintain what well, Allah SWT wants her attitude. And a boy also should maintain the attitude. If you can sit in front, try boys stay in front. Girl, if you can, I mean woman, if she can sit behind, she try as much as you can to stay behind. And don't you ever sit next to a male. This is wrong. The Prophet ﷺ, he never did this. Although you are learning Quran in the class, it doesn't work. You have to make it in the way the Prophet ﷺ and also one of them is also the looking. It's included. Coming closer to zina means someone is constantly looking at the girls. This one also is included. And also one of the things is shaking the hand, which you find in some cultures and they don't want to stop it. Yeah. You shake the hand of the girl, that means you're committing zina with the hand. The Prophet ﷺ said every human being Allah SWT, he prescribed for him the portion of zina that he is going to commit. Every single human being. Because whenever he looks, this is the zina of the eye. And he said, whenever he touched, this is the zina of the hand. Whenever he walk to the place of zina, also the same thing. Whenever he hears, the same thing. He said, and the private part is going to testify this or reject it. So as I was saying, looking, shaking the hand, or all kinds of touching, or free mixing, all of them they are included. And of course, what I had mentioned earlier, staying in a place where there is no one except you and a woman. So in my uh, conclusion, uh, this is my advice to my brothers and sisters. 
we found ourselves in this type of system, which we cannot change it. I mean, now, maybe before, if I last night, I wish someone is going to come and open a separate and selected university for both of us, but now we are in the system. Everyone should fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You should remember the day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to bring you back and ask you about the sitting or the lookings or the touching you did between you and other sister. By Allah, every second that you sit, group discussion or anything which is unnecessary, unnecessary, it is recorded by the angels and you're going to see it in the last day. You should pre prepare for that a good answer because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never neglect anything. He said, I don't want to see you in this situation. He's going to ask you about everything you did. And you can say to Allah SWT, I have good intention. It doesn't work like this. The Prophet SAW was in the masjid, and this is the Prophet SAW and his wife, she came to visit him in the masjid, in the night. Two Muslims, they came, they saw the Prophet SAW staying with a woman. They didn't know who she is. And they have, they have no bad expectation in the Prophet SAW. Their heart is empty. They know that the Prophet SAW would never do something wrong. What did they do? When they see the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with a woman, they quickly just pass. They move faster. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he brought them back. He said, come back. He said, this is my wife, so on, so on, so on. Explain to them so that they would not have something. This shows that this is bad in those communities, the community of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's why he needed to remind them because they're going to have something in their heart. They said, Shaitan Yajri Mirinda. They said, Prophet, how can we think about you like this. He said, no, because shaitan runs through the veins of human beings. He can put in your mind something. So, my conclusion here is the advice to